A few days ago, I was having a conversation with a friend, you know, about normal life things, and the conversation steered towards the environment and how renewable energy is the best bet for the long term. Quite naturally, we talked about Tesla because it is almost impossible to talk about renewable energy without Tesla. My friend had recently gotten an electric vehicle, and he was talking about getting a Tesla solar roof next. As you can expect, I immediately had to do some reading about the Tesla solar roof so I could find out all the latest news about it. So, in this video, I will be telling you all that you need to know about the Tesla solar roof as well as the latest information about it. Let's get right into it. You probably know that the Tesla solar roof is a renewable energy option that replaces the roof shingles on your house. The solar roof, in essence, becomes your roof. In more complex terms, the solar roof is a building integrated photovoltaic product that essentially merges the functions of a solar panel and regular roof tiles into one product. So rather than have two separate products, you get an efficient one that is more visually appealing. Innovative, isn't it? Tesla has made several updates and changes to the solar roof over the years since it was announced. The latest version is the Tesla Solar Roof V3, which was announced in October 2019. Like I said earlier, the Solar Roof V3, which is the third version, has some differences from the earlier versions. For one, this version features tiles, or shingles, which are notably larger than that of the earlier versions. This means that you will ultimately need fewer tiles with this version than with the previous versions. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Because the tiles are larger, this means that there is also a reduced cost in production, and the installation process is way easier than with the earlier versions. What's more, the V3 has an increased power density. Tesla is one of the most popular renewable energy companies out there, so the solar roof is pretty popular among people who are looking into renewable energy. While it is unclear exactly how many units have been installed, there is a long wait time. Some people wait for as long as a year to a year and a half for their solar roof to be installed after placing their order. Seems crazy, doesn't it? The long wait list is proof that the solar roof is quite popular indeed. Earlier this year, customers who had already placed orders for the solar roof and gotten estimates were surprised to get emails notifying them of an increase in the estimated price that they would have to pay. In some cases, the new prices were almost double the initial amount, and some of the affected customers filed lawsuits against Tesla. Responding to the lawsuits, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the hike was because there were some mistakes when assessing the difficulty of the roofs, and that the company was working to come to an agreement with the affected customers. The shingles of the solar roof are designed to look exactly like a normal asphalt roof shingle. While they are basically indistinguishable from normal roof shingles, the Tesla website claims that the solar shingles are in fact three times stronger than asphalt shingles and were designed to withstand all weather conditions. This means that you can expect that a solar roof will last longer than a regular asphalt roof. Each solar shingle measures 15 inches by 45 inches and is made of tempered glass, which is designed to look like asphalt. They can withstand hailstorms that measure up to 1.75 inches in diameter, wind speeds of up to 166 miles per hour, and also have a Class A fire rating, which is the highest possible rating. The solar roof contains two types of shingles, which are the active shingles and the inactive shingles. The active shingles contain solar cells, which work to generate renewable solar energy while the inactive shingles are basically just fillers that give the roof a uniform look. They do not contain solar cells and so do not generate solar energy. The solar roof has a 25-year tile, power, and weatherization warranty, and a 12.5-year warranty for the inverter. While the 25-year warranty is on par with other brands, the 12.5-year warranty for the inverter is quite low compared to other brands many of which offer warranties of 20 to 25 years. So, let's say you're interested in getting yourself a solar roof. How much money can you expect to pay for it? Well, there isn't one specific answer. You can't exactly base your estimation off of what someone else paid for theirs. This is because the price varies, and some calculations have to be done 
to arrive at an estimate that is almost unique to you. Tesla categorizes roofs based on complexity, and the website has three levels of complexity that are simple, intermediate, and complex. If you have a multi-level roof with a lot of obstructions, like chimneys or skylights, you can expect that you will pay more than someone with a single-level roof with little to no obstructions. This is why it isn't advisable to base your estimate off of what someone else got as an estimate. The size of the roof also determines how much you'll pay for the solar roof. Just like with roof complexity, someone with a smaller roof will pay less than someone with a larger one. So you have to take the square footage of your roof into consideration when planning to go the solar route. So how much can you expect to pay at the end of the day? Without incentives, the Tesla estimate is that you should plan to spend about $48,460 if your roof is 2,000 square feet and has an intermediate level of complexity. However, if your roof is complex, then the price jumps up to $54,940 for the same size roof. If your roof has an intermediate complexity but is 2,500 square feet, then you can expect to pay about $56,460. While it is also important to take into consideration the efficiency of the solar roof before making a final commitment, Tesla hasn't released official data on the efficiency of the solar shingles, but it is estimated that the efficiency ranges anywhere between 14 to 18% efficiency, which is lower than the 22 to 23% efficiency recorded in most solar panels. I must emphasize that the Tesla solar roof isn't the right option for everyone. While it is a great option for some, it may not be such a great investment for others. For instance, there is an insane waiting time between ordering and getting the roof installed. You can expect to wait up to a year and a half before installation. This means that in addition to paying a hefty amount for the solar roof, you will also be paying electricity bills while you wait for it to get installed. This is like paying for electricity twice, and it isn't a smart financial move. Also, while you wait for installation, there is a risk that you will miss out on some financial incentives for going solar. For example, many state tax credits have expired already, and the federal investment tax credit for solar will be lowered to 22% starting from 2023. If you are on the wait list for the solar roof, then you may likely miss out on this. If you decide that the solar roof isn't the best choice for you, then you should look into some other alternatives, like the LG and Panasonic solar panels that have some sleek black solar panel designs that blend into your roof. Like I said, the solar roof isn't always a right fit for everyone. However, if you think that it is the best fit for you, then you should definitely sign up to join the wait list and get an official quote from Tesla. I'm really looking forward to talking to my friend about the solar roof. Who knows, I might even take the plunge and get one for myself. What do you think about the Tesla solar roof? Do you think it's worth it? Would you consider getting one? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on engaging content like this.